Okay, so we're here with Firefighter Allen, because it says that right here on his shirt. And uh, we're going to go over draining engine one and engine two for the winter. Now, a common misconception is if you just pull the main pump drain, let that drain out until it's done, that the pump is going to be fully drained. Or if you couple that with the next step that I think you're going to do here, going through each of the individual line drains, then we've got everything down. Hey, Dewey. We got to the point that we got most of the water out. See, even after that's done, we've got quite a bit of water that was trapped in the rear intake. So while the main pump drain is open and while each of the individual line drains is open, taking the cap off of the rear intake and we're also opening the valve on the rear intake so that we start to get a, a full open circuit with the pump and all the hose lines. We have to keep in mind with this rear pump all the water that can be trapped out here is exposed to the elements. That's why it's critically important that we get each and every one of the lines here drained. Okay, we've got the caps disconnected on all the discharges and all the intakes now since almost everything we have is at the rear here. Let's open the rear auxiliary inlet. Now we're opening the manifold drain and the other manifold drain. Notice how when we open each one of the discharges, we're getting even more water out of the back. Now we turned the battery on on the truck, and we just opened up the uh, deluge discharge a little bit. So that's fully open. And we didn't take off the uh, hoses from the two cross lays but they've got the self-leading uh, drain lines on the front. Yep, that shouldn't be an issue. Wait a few seconds. Uh, the big thing is, make sure we don't rub the water underneath the truck. Make sure that everything is drained down and it's no longer flowing. Come back and close everything up. Dean Block is here too. He's just yawning. And both the director and the producer.
explain. Last thing. Last thing is closing the pump drain. Another misconception is we should leave the pump drain open so that way people know that the pump has been drained but we have a problem if we get out and that freezes in the open position we can't operate the pump we don't have a closed circuit anymore and once it's open and it's frozen open we're done yep that's it all right